The Next Generation Science Standards and the Common Core State Standards provide districts and teachers with what students should know and be able to do. GEMSnet helps us figure out how we're going to do that. We want our students to be thinking like engineers, so we're going to be shifting our language a little bit. So you think the little rocks are going to go through the big holes? Yes. Sean, what are you thinking? GEMSnet stands for Guiding Education in Math and Science Network. It is a partnership between the University of Rhode Island and nine of the Rhode Island public school districts. The districts set aside a financial commitment to the project. A lot of times when you go to professional development, you hear about what you're supposed to be doing in the classroom. GEMSnet stays focused on how. GEMSnet's purpose is to embrace science education um, at the district level and all the way down to the teacher and the students to get them excited about teaching science, to use best practices that we learn about in research, and um, to create a scientifically literate society. I'm thinking about a math connection here. I think the unique thing about our program is that we've had you know, active scientists, researchers involved pretty much the whole way through. And that they've been you know, integral in making sure that the quality of the science is correct and that it uh, is consistent with you know, present day thinking and our, our knowledge base. Teacher is pronouncing these words. This is your chance to float that vocabulary. Kids are more eager to work on their reading, to work with writing, when it's connected to something that they're curious about. By asking them to communicate what they're learning and to explain their thinking and to wonder about new questions that are coming up, they're really internalizing their learning. That comes from them instead of at them. How can river rocks be separated by size? Okay, well now we'll be going into Robin Cook's grade one classroom. It's a title one school. We have a, a variety of backgrounds and um, and different learning abilities in this class. GEMSnet has been invaluable to this class and to our school. Do you have any ideas about how, we, how this is gonna help us sort our rocks? I feel supported. They're willing to come to my classroom to help me, teach alongside me, and work with my students. The cycle of success in the students that makes the teachers feel successful and then their desire to teach turns around and um, allows them to embrace science education in a way that's, that's unusual in the country. We need some help, scientists. Lauren, what do you think we're going to do next? What I love about science is you get to learn cool stuff and you might not think it's cool when you're like about to learn the lesson, but as you get into the lesson, it gets more cool. Well, sometimes I draw and I think I want to be an artist, but I mostly want to be a geologist. From the district perspective, our teachers, we know that our elementary and middle school teachers are continually up to date with their science. Another point that I really like about the whole program is that we're seeing a rise in, in science achievement, but we're also seeing a rise in writing achievement. And we saw success as an elementary district, having like 80% of the kids being proficient in science, which was like the second highest um, score in the state for fourth graders within a district. And now we're seeing that level of success at the middle school. Where One of the things that GEMSnet is most proud of is our ability to sustain the project over the past 20 years. In science education, we have the opportunity to engage the student in that authentic learning and gaining that first-hand knowledge that's so essential for them in their future. Most of all, we see success in GEMSnet when we're in the classrooms and the students are truly believing they are scientists and engineers.